This conference will now be recorded. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting vlog series from DexLab. And in this video log, we're going to be talking about data science, which is an ongoing series which we have. Today, we are going to be talking about the life cycle of a data science project and how it basically shakes out in real life. So let's get into it. So when you talk about the life cycle of a data science project, the first thing which any data scientist will be doing is trying to convert a business problem into an analytical one. And quite often, I mean, I would say that this is really challenging to do so. Um, this is where you will really have to have a very good understanding of the business and you will really need to sit down and ask a lot of questions about the objectives of the problem, basically, which you are trying to solve. So this is a very crucial uh, step, I would say, in many ways. Uh, once you have done this effectively, and then you, you'll, I presume you now, by this point, have a well-defined analytical problem. Then the next step you would be taking would be mining for data. Now, this at this stage is where your creativity as a data scientist really comes into play. When I say creativity, I mean how creative are you in finding new sources of data? And often enough, you will find yourself in a position where you will be aligning yourself with the IT um, department because uh, those are the guys who are responsible for uh, managing and warehousing and collecting a lot of the existing data. So once you've done that and the third step would be really where your uh, skills as a programmer will be tested and that step is cleaning your data. This, at this stage, yeah, what you will be essentially doing is looking for inconsistencies in your data and you will be applying a lot of treatments on your data to fix missing values. When I say missing values, I mean a lot of it will not be perfect. And as a rule of um, thumb, I would say that what you put in your system is the kind of results that you will get out. So if you put in, um, for the lack of a better word, I would say garbage, then you will get garbage out. So this stage is crucial in that regard. So once you've cleaned up your data, you will be moving on to the next um, stage, which is known as the data exploration or in industry, we like to call it EDA which stands for Exploratory Data Analysis. At this stage, basically your skills as, um, your skills in statistics will be put to test. What do I mean when I say that? So at this stage here, you will be forming hypotheses about the analytical problem, which you have defined, and you will be applying a lot of descriptives and univariate analysis on your problem statement uh, to get a better feel for your variables. So once you have done this stage, you will be moving on to the next stage. And I personally believe this is one of the most important stages, which is feature engineering. Feature engineering, um, to talk a bit about this, basically it can be very tempting to try and include every single attribute or variable in your model. Now that would be a mistake. And that would be a mistake because, uh, you know, you will get a result which will be highly overfitted for one, and it will not be very trackable. So in, in this stage here, you will be only choosing those variables which are highly un correlated to one another 
and this is done with a view of enhancing the predictive uh, strength of your model. So once you've done that, and now here, the next stage is where uh, most of us think data science is all about, which is applying predictive models. This is actually done after you have been through uh, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth stage. And at this stage, you will be applying, you will be splitting up your data into a training set and a testing set. Now, the training set, the split usually is usually done uh, with a purview of, say, 80 to 20. So 80% of your data will be in the training set and the 20% will be in the testing. So once you have trained your model, you will be now asked to validate it. And that validation will come by testing it on the 20% of your data. And this is done because all the data is historical. So if it's historical, that means it has already happened and you know what was the exact outcome. So at this stage, you can see how well your model is um, performing in terms of predicting the outcomes in your testing data set. Now, pretty much here is where you know you, your predictive model would have been build. You can go further, let's like say by um, tweaking it, optimizing it, using ensemble methods in it. Uh, but to really to present your findings to people that don't understand data science, you will need data visualization. Now here, basically what you will be doing is you will be communicating your findings uh, to the key stakeholders and you'll be using very interactive platforms for this, such as Tableau or ClickView. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, um, that would be the simplest way to describe the life cycle of a data science um, project and uh, things that you need to watch out for. So I really hope you enjoyed this session. If you do, please do leave a thumbs up and a comment. And I will see you next time. Until then, you take care. Bye now.